hi and welcome to my channel so this is going to be a very unusual video from the videos that i normally do because i've just heard news that the upcoming afrobeats festival that was supposed to take place in the uk has had about 20 afrobeat celebrities musicians experts you know they have been denied uk visas you know when i've heard this i'm like oh my god personally i've been looking forward to this afrobeats you know festival because it's always a massive event and i'm a huge fan of afrobeat music and i don't understand how the uk home office would you know allegedly refuse visas from these people because the truth is these people coming to the uk they have zero interest in remaining in the uk there's no way that any of these people would remain in the uk because these people are part of a multi you know a multi-million dollar industry and when i've read a report from the voice they are the ones that reported this i normally get all my you know i love the voice because if there's any kind of afrobeat concert afrobeat festival afrobeat musician that's coming to the uk that's where i normally find out first before i ever see any adverts or anything else online and as a huge fan of people like burner boy you know my nigerian celebrities um thinking about davido i'm a massive fan and a member actually of the 30 billion g i don't want to you know you know if you're a fan of the video you know what the last word is i don't want to call it on here <laughs> but to hear that these people have been denied with apparently with kid and Thames, who recently won a grammy award maybe there but the thing is that if you deny visas from 20 other people is the festival still going to take place is it still worth it is it still going to be happening and african music is something that has gone worldwide and i think the earlier everybody kind of realizes the fact that look afrobeat is here to stay afrobeat has taken over the world the better the earlier we accept that acknowledge that and move on the better because right now in the uk look when i go out to a supermarket or a shopping mall or a shopping center i hear afrobeats everywhere when i turn my radio on i hear afrobeats everywhere every day and this is in the uk and that is because you know it is music that is it's the most upcoming music right now in the world afrobeat so i think denying these celebrities these stars these talented individuals visas is a little bit unfair and there is just no excuse because i feel like as a fan and as you know an african as somebody who is resident in the uk and looking forward to this event is a huge disappointment it is a massive disappointment and i do hope that an appeal has been put in place and that hopefully the home office is going to consider this and grant visas to these our celebrities so that they can come to the uk and do what they do best you know perform because not only do they actually bring you know a lot of talent to the uk but they bring a lot of business opportunities i remember when davido came to the o2 and he shut the whole place down as saying it was you know it sold out and just the amount of money that people spend that is still going to the uk economy so i think that denying these people visas is a little bit like insulting not only for us but for myself as well because we look forward to these events you know we look forward to to these celebrities coming you feel like home you can enjoy good quality music you can see them live you know what i mean it's a it's an excellent opportunity so this is very bad news for me it's very disappointing you know if you're watching this video right now do you like afro beats you know where are you from who are your favorite singers artists this is you know, this is something that I feel really, really touched about because, like I said, I've been looking forward to this particular festival and there's been several times here in the UK where shows have had to be cancelled because of visa issues. And I'm like, these people are not coming to remain in the UK. They're just coming to perform and then leave. And most of the times, actually, where they've been granted visas, it's been for like two weeks. When sometimes if you've got a show over a month to different, you know, somebody like Davido, for example, he would need to go to literally all the towns in the UK, towns and cities. So if you give just two weeks, it's just not enough. 
and the government doesn't realize that these people are not coming to remain in the uk and sometimes i've given just spoken about the dancers and the crew that come with them well i think the whole entourage is just what comes with the industry because if someone like beyonce for example was coming to the uk obviously she's going to come with her dancers you know rihanna recently performed at the super bowl which was massive if she had had to be performed you know if she had had to perform in the uk she would have had to come with all those dancers so i don't see why it's different when it comes to the Afrobeats um, singers or the Afrobeats celebrities or the Afrobeats musicians that are coming from Africa or that are African. So it's a little bit like, you know, it's not really fair. It's, it's not a fair system. I know that life is not fair. I know that things happen. But the truth is, um, you know, Afrobeats is on the rise and nobody can deny that. And there's been many reports. I follow this through on Twitter, on Instagram. And obviously many people are fuming like myself. This is why I'm doing this video. Like I've said, this is a very unusual video that I would normally do because my videos are always talking about moves to the UK, career progression in the UK, side business opportunities, work from home jobs, my private coaching program where I support with, you know, moving to the UK and all that, you know, nursing, carers, teachers, you know, just opportunities worldwide. But I have felt the need to kind of air my mind on this particular issue, you know, of refusing visas from top African celebrities, because this has happened repeatedly. This has happened severally where promoters and event organizers have been left stranded. Us, the fans, have been left stranded because our celebrities have been denied visas. Look, these people live amazing lives. They couldn't, I don't think they would want to live in the UK. So the reason for refusing them visas, they can never be a valid reason. So I really do hope that they get the visas that they deserve for the time that they deserve to be in the UK. Because, like I said, I've been looking forward to this, which is why I'm so disappointed. You know, Whiskey, Thames, I was like, because I only knew about Thames, obviously, when she won the Grammy Award. And then I realized that she was a person, you know, that sang, that featured in Whiskey's song. So it is just amazing to see that Afrobeat is going to that next stage stage is come to that next step that is now unstoppable but i think going through this path of denying visas repeatedly when many of these celebrities want to come perform in the uk is really really unfair because it fails to recognize the talent that they bring it fails to recognize the celebrity status that they have and most importantly it fails to recognize the clientele and the fan base that these celebrities have in the UK. Because like I said, when Davido was, you know, had his concert at the O2, he literally painted the whole town green and it was sold out. I don't know how many people are able to, to be sold out at the O2, very few people, but these are people that are coming over from Africa. These are people that are well known worldwide, not only by, you know, African fans, but, you know, like I say, in the UK, I hear Apple Beats everywhere right now. So it's just a little bit of a rant <laughs> following my disappointment getting the news. So I'm hoping that, you know, there's going to be good news in the next few days. And those of us that have got tickets for this event can attend the event peacefully and be able to have fun, be able to see those celebrities live because it's always a pleasure. You know, I normally attend all those um Afrobeats festivals so it's a little bit of a disappointment for me that this has happened because you know this happens very frequently with African celebrities when they have events in the UK and I keep denying them visas it's like look these people are not going to come and remain in the UK or anything they're not going to come and be doing the jobs that we are doing here nursing carers and all that they are professionals they are part of an industry that is successful that has been growing and is still growing and it still has a lot of you know boundaries but either way, life isn't fair anyway. But I'm hoping for some good news. Yes. My rant is over now. Thank you. <laughs>